Hey people, I'm Carlos Luna, content producer here at Roll20, and today I'm going to give you the bare necessity so you can start playing Honey Heist as quickly as possible. Now, Honey Heist is an RPG based on two simple principles. You have made a complex plan that requires precise timing, and you're a bear. Honey Heist is a one-page, one-shot game. This means that all the rules fit on one sheet of paper and is meant to be played in one game session. Now, you might find the rules to Honey Heist a little vague, but that's on purpose. It's meant to be played with fun first and rules second. So feel free to interpret them as you will. Also, I'm gonna leave a video link of an actual play so you can see the game in action. Check the description below. What you'll need. Okay, you'll need a pencil, some paper, and some D6s. We're gonna be using the free Honey Heist community sheet on Roll20 for this example, so my table is nice and clear. Creating a bear. Okay, in this game, every player will be playing a bear, whose goal is to break into Honeycon and steal loads of honey. Creating this bear is easy. First, roll three D6s. The first die will give you your bear's descriptor, from a new criminal rookie or just completely incompetent. The second D6 will tell you what type of bear you are and your bear's special skill. Polar bears can swim while sun bears can sense honey. The last die will give you your bear's role in the group. Are you the bear's hacker who gains control of security feeds? Or are you the muscle who rips open doors and intimidates the cons workers? Disguising your bear. Okay, as we all know, humans are pretty dumb. Most can be fooled into thinking you're human simply by wearing their clothes. So what you've disguised yourself as is just as important as the job you are assigned to. To choose your disguise, roll 4d6 and consult the table to see what human clothes your bear has chosen for this heist. Maybe a fluorescent yellow trench coat with black leather cargo pants. Either way, you're going to look very good. Well, you got to do one. You did the one in the beginning, so I just thought it'd be cool. If also, total up the value of the four D6s you rolled. This is your human believability score, or HBS. This score represents how difficult it will be for the humans to see through your disguise. The higher the number, the better your ensemble. Now, if you're feeling lucky, you can accessorize by rolling one more D6. These accessories can add or subtract from your HBS, so be careful when trying to pull off that pink cowboy hat. Stats. Okay, your bear only has two stats, bear and criminal. Bear is used to do general bear things like mauling things, running, and climbing. Criminal will be the stat you use for anything not related to being a bear, like picking a lock or driving the escape vehicle. Each of these stats starts at three and will go up and down as game plays out. Sometimes circumstances out of your control can change your stats. If your plan fails and you face a lot of difficulty, you can move a point from criminal to bear. And if the opposite happens and the plan goes off without a hitch, move a point from bear to criminal. If at any point either of your stats reaches six, it's game over for your bear. If your criminal hits six, you turn towards a life of crime and betray your fellow bears. If your bear makes it to six, you go on a bear rampage. You'll probably be picked up by animal control though. Actions. Now, whenever your bear does something in the game and the outcome is uncertain, roll a d6. If the roll is equal to or below the relevant stat, you succeed in that action. If the roll is over, you fail. But if you are doing something that uses your bear's special skill, like the polar bear swimming, you can roll 2d6 and pick the lowest. Now, this style of equal to and lower rolling is used with the HBS we talked about earlier with disguises. If a human is trying to see through your disguise, they will roll 4d6. If the result is equal to or lower than your HBS, your disguise passes inspection. If it's higher than that, well, you arose suspicion. Let's do an example of play. Now, the bears have made it into Honeycon with their disguises. Carl, the black bear, decides they want to climb into the rafters to see a better look at the layout of the con. Because they have the climb skill, they roll 2d6 and pick the lower. They roll a 2 and a 6. Their 2 is lower than their bear stat, so they succeed in making it into the rafters. 
They relay down over the headset to the brown bear Hercules that the room with the honey is in the back corner across from the con's main floor. Hercules, very confident in his disguise, decides to walk confidently through the con towards their goal. They pass a lot of humans, so the bear master rolls to see if any of the humans notice the disguise. Their total is 13. Hercules' HBS is 16, so their disguise is flawless and no one suspects a thing. The heist continues so far without a hitch, so maybe the bear master will decide the bears need to move a point from bear to criminal. Setting and scenario. Okay, real quick, if you're liking this video, do me a favor and hit the like button and or subscribe. It helps me out so I can make more content just like this. Okay, so Honey Heist is designed to be run with little to no prep work from the Bear Master. Before the game, you can either come up with your own idea for a heist or roll on the five tables provided with the game for inspiration. When setting up your game, you'll need to know a few things. Who the convention organizer is and what they are like. You gotta know who you're stealing from where HoneyCon is being held, what else is there to steal besides the honey, what security features will the bears have to overcome, and what plot twist awaits the bears. After rolling or prepping, your scenario may look something like this. This year's HoneyCon is being held in a creepy lakeside camp. The event organizer, Kevin, is a classic spoiled trust fund kid. Now, besides the honey, Intel tells the bears that Abraham Lincoln's beehive is also there. Some say that it may be haunted by his ghost. They will have to make their way past a CCTV network and a ton of pitfall traps. But little do the bears know, the whole place is rigged to blow. You can let the bears figure out most of the information through good planning and sleuthing. But try to keep the plot twist secret until the big reveal. Now, if you'd like to see more videos like this, check out this game right here or this playlist right here. If there's another game you'd like to see me explain, subscribe and leave me a comment right down below. I always read the subscriber comments first. Until then, I'm Carlos Luna, and this has been Learn How, Play Now.